YouTube channel. So in this video, we are going to see how to create a table of content using Microsoft Word 2013. Okay, so before moving on to my video, I would like you to subscribe and like my channel. So let's go to the video. So as you can see in this document, I have created this sample document from Word and I have put headings as heading 1, heading 1.1, which is going to be the subheading of my main heading, heading 1 and heading 2 and I'm going to put the subheading as heading 2.1. So you will find it later why I have put these headings. So you make sure when you're going to make a table of content, you will have, you should have a essential information in your document. So let's go ahead. So to make a table of content, we need to have headings according to our preference. So in heading one, you can see that here you can see in the home tab, there is something called styles and there are various options in this styles. So you can click any of it but what i wanted you to do is if it is the main heading i prefer you to click heading one so when you click heading one you can see some of the changes occurring here yes but we can format it so what you have to do is right click and click modify now comes the modifying style so here comes the formatting part for you to format it depends you can do it according to your preference so since it is the main heading i'm going to put the font as Times New Roman and the font size as 14 and I'm going to bold it and also I'm going to change the color to automatic. So you can see the preview here. Whatever the changes we are doing above, the preview shows below. And also you can change the indentation to justif justification. It depends. It is depending according to your preference. So once done, further formatting options is also available. That is where you click the below option. Once you click format, you can see there are several other formatting options whether you want to format the paragraph the tabs or you have to give a border to it whatever so what i'm going to do is i'm going to do some changes to the paragraph click on the paragraph you get another window appearing here here you can see the general settings the alignment whether you want to make it left centered right so since i have clicked justified it shows justified to me and the outline level indentation likewise the spacing also so here in the line spacing, I'm going to change it to 1.5 according to my preference. You can change it according to your preference. Once done, you can see a very small preview below. Click OK. And you can see a very clear preview. So assume that you want to put a border to this heading one. What you do is go to format and click on border. Then you get a border window. Here you can see the styles. You can see there are a lot of styles according to your preferences you can add it and you can see the color as well what color you want to put to your border so i'll make it automatic the width of the border is also displayed here so the width is there you can select any i'm going to select one and a half of width so once selected place it here now since it is a heading we need something like a border which is underneath the heading so i have placed the border underneath the heading and click OK. So our preview has changed and it is something like this. So this is making us understandable that the document will contain the preview something like this. Once the formatting part is done, I'm going to click OK. So now you can see heading one is consisting of the style heading one. Now what we're going to do is heading 1.1. As I told you before, my heading 1.1 is a subheading of heading 1. So if your document is also containing subheadings, make sure to put the style as heading 2. So let's click on heading 2 and do the same formatting step by clicking on modify. Then do the formatting step. Since it is a subheading, I'm going to put the font size as 12. I'm not going to bold it. I'm going to change it to automatic and justify it as usual. I'm not going to put any paragraph settings or any borders since it is a subheading. If you want, you can. So now, once the formatting part is done for me, I'll click OK as usual. So you can see here, heading 1.1 of the subheading of heading 1 is clearly put into a style of heading 2. All right. So for heading 2, my heading 2 is a main heading, like heading 1. So you do not want to again modify it. If you just click heading 1, the modification takes place. So you can see right how much easy to make a table of content and then heading 2.1 which is going to be my subheading of heading 2 
So I'm going to put it as heading two. Automatically, the subheading changes. All right. So once all this formatting part is done, now it's time for us to create a table of content. Insert page break. So here, what you have to do is we are going to make a table of contents. Let's go for the reference tab. So it is very important for you to know creating a table of content should always have an essential information in your document. Without the essential information, you cannot create table of contents. Okay, so you can see in the left hand corner, you get a table of contents. Yes, we are very close to creating it. So once you click here, you have built in table of contents, automatic table one, automatic table two, and some manual table. But what I prefer and what I recommend you is to select custom table of content. The reason is we can do our customization when we select it. Let me show you how. Select it. Now you can see the window. Here you can see there is something called print preview and here something called web preview. A print preview shows you how many headings you have created and what kind of preview you're going to get in the document. A web preview shows you by using hyperlinks. So hyperlinks is where they bring you to the page of the heading. So if you want, you can use or you can untick it. So it shows something like this. If you want to use it, it shows something like this. And you can see if you do not want to show the page numbers of each heading, you can untick it. Or else you can tick it. There's something called tab leader, which actually bringing some designs to the table of content. If you do not want to put the, any tab leader, click none. You can see it shows a plain uh, preview, but uh, you know, to make it attractive, you can put any other type. If you want to put the second one, the third one, this is how it is. So I prefer the first one. All right. Then the general settings. In the general setting, you can see there's a format. Formats vary from the Word document. Now, here it is from template format. You can make it classic. You can make it distinctive. You can either make it fancy or whatever the type of format you wish to. So whenever you click on it, the preview changes and shows how it is going to appear in the document. So you have to click on classic or from template. So I'm going to click from template as per requirement. So this is how it is going to be. So for the modification about the font size and all, we have another option called modify here. Click on modify. When you click on modify, you get there's something called TOZ1 and there are a lot of TOZs, table of contents. I have only two headings, heading one and heading two. Then heading one will be equal to TOZ1. Heading two will be equal to TOZ2. So to make it more clear, if you're going to make any changes in heading one, it's going to be done here. So let's do the changes. Same way, modify it according to your preference and click OK. Heading two, select here, modify according to your preference. Okay, I'm not going to bold it. Right. Now everything is done. Click OK. So now this is the preview. Let's click OK and see our table of contents. All right, so you can see how clear and how useful our table of content is going to be for our assignments and for the whatever the documents that you wish to make. So make sure you have essential information and make sure you watch the video from beginning to end. So you will have a very clear understanding on how to do it. It's very easy. Better try it at home and let me know in my comment section. If you have any doubts, it is more useful for me to understand. Please put in them in the comment section. So thank you very much for watching my video. See you in my next video. Bye-bye. Take care.